Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Math 20-2, Chapter 3, Lesson 2, Sign Law, Part 2. Toby uses chains attached to hooks on the ceiling and a winch to lift engines at his father's garage. The chains are attached to the ceiling at what angles? Now observe the picture here. So, here we have all three sides and one of the angles. Now, since we're finding an angle, and remember, oh you poopy head, remember with the sine law, it's the angle and the side opposite it. It's the angle and the side opposite it. Angle and the side opposite it. So in this case, we're looking for the angle, so we'll write it as sine of A over side A equals sine of B over side B. Now, I'm arbitrarily going to call this one A, so this is side A, and I'm going to call this one B, because I can. It doesn't really matter. So this is sine of 86 degrees over 2.8 meters equals sine of theta for 1.9 meters. Now once you get to this point you realize, oh, I have to cross multiply. So sine of theta, 1.9 times sine of 86, divided by 2.8. And notice I've already canceled out my meters because I'm lazy. So, double checking, I'm sorry, mode. I am in radian again, just because it wants to be. Enter, clear. 1.9 sine of 86, close bracket, close bracket. Divided by 2.8 is 0.6769. Now notice we want the angle. So angle theta is sine minus 1 is 0 0.6769, which is inverse sine inverse answer 42.6 degrees. Okay, so that's 42.6 degrees. Now, I really should use this, oh sorry, I could be lazy and just add the three angles together to get 180, or I could do the sine law again as practice. I'm going to do the sine law again as practice because, well, we need it. So here, sine of A over A equals sine of B over B, or C over C. So this is sine of 86 degrees over side A, 2.8. I should call this C, and C is 2.2 over sine of alpha. So cross multiply. Sine of alpha is 2.2 times sine of 86 divided by 2.8. And sine of alpha is... Zero point seven eight three eight angle alpha is sine of minus one of zero point seven eight three eight inverse sine inverse answer fifty one point six. Now Notice here, these two, the three angles do not add up to exactly 180 degrees. Answer, okay, so. so 180.2. Now, that's a rounding off error. If we, went, if we took our measurements of our lengths to two or three decimal places, this answer would get closer and closer to 180 degrees. Okay? Now, that's, most, that's the sine law, and this is the nastier version, which is why I did it twice. So, before we go on, we've got to talk about directions. Now, directions are often stated in terms of north and south on a compass. For example, 30 degrees east of north means traveling in a direction 30 degrees east of north. 45 degrees west of south means traveling in a direction 45 degrees west of south. Now, actually, that's a little confusing. So, 30 degrees east of north... 
That's going north. Then east to make an angle of 30 degrees. You go north, then you go east. So it's actually written backwards just to screw with you. First thing you do is go north, the second thing you do is go east, and the third thing is you stop when you make the angle. So here we go, 45 degrees west to south. You go south, then we go west, and we stop when we make an angle of 45 degrees. So first, second, third thing we do. I know, backwards, just to confuse you, give you a headache. Now, here, we, I want to make sure you understand this, so we're going to do some a couple of examples. So, 55 degrees east of north. Drawing this, we go north, then swing east to make an angle of 55 degrees. Now, 35 degrees west of south, we go south, we swing west to make an angle of 35 degrees. Okay, now I'm going to pause the recording. I want you to do 15 degrees west of north and 67 degrees east of south. We'll come back and compare answers. So pause the recording, do them. Welcome back. So 15 degrees west of north would be heading this way. You go north and you swing west to make an angle of 15 degrees. 67 degrees east of south, you go south and you swing east. You go that way, make an angle of 67 degrees. All right, that's you need to know. Because I'm going to throw this nasty question at you. A helicopter pilot is delivering supplies to two remote work camps. His GPS is down and he has to use his compass. Mm. Thinking. The map indicates the camp to the left is located 30 degrees west of north. The camp to the right is located 50 degrees east of north. Determine the compass direction you must follow when he leaves camp B for camp A. Now, words, words, words. Here you got the picture. So he goes to camp A, and then he wants to fly to camp B. That's his direction. Now, he knows the 12 kilometers apart. Sorry. My apologies. Sorry. What's compass direction? So, where's he going? Well, north, east, south, West. He's, we got to figure out an angle. Now, we've been talking about sine laws or the sine law. So we have this angle here, which is a total of 80 degrees, opposite this side. We have, we can figure out this angle here because we have this side. Now, remember the three angles together equal 180. Once we can angle B, we can get this angle here, which is, I think, what we need. So, let's start out. Now, we're looking for angle, so it's sine A over... Oh, dear. Sorry, let me rephrase that. <clears throat> <coughs> we're looking for this angle here. Once we figure out the second angle, then we can figure out angle number three. Okay, we can't figure out angle number three till we get angle number two. And I'm calling this number 2 because we have the side opposite it, so we can solve it using the sine law. So sine of A over A equals sine of B over B. Now I'm arbitrarily, oh, I'm going to call this point A if we're doing this. So this is sine of 80 degrees, total angle, over 12 kilometers, equals sine of B over 9 kilometers. So sine of B cross multiply is 9 sine of 80 over 12. Sorry, 9 of 80, my apologies. Zero point seven eight seven three eight six. Notice we go to four decimal places. Inverse sine of my answer will be 7.6. 47.6 degrees. 
So this is 47.6 degrees. Now, the three angles in a triangle equal 180. So what's the missing angle? I don't know. 180 degrees equals 80 degrees plus 47.6 degrees plus angle. Well, I'll call it C. What the heck? It's actually angle A, but 180 minus 80 minus That's roughly 52.4. Now, I did call it angle number three earlier, but I'm worried. Anyway, this is 52.4. Okay. All right, so far so good. Now. This is going to be a long question. Yes, we'll finish this. Now, this is a long question, and it, it's a tricky one. Well, not a tricky one. It's difficult because it uses the sine law, and then you have to go on. Now, I want you to look at this and go, okay, I need to come up with another angle. Now, I'll point out this line and this line are parallel. So they're both going directly east, and we have a transverse which means alternate interior angle, this angle, will equal this entire angle here. If this is 30, 30 plus what gives us a 90 down here? 60. So this whole angle here is 60. So 60 degrees minus 52.4 degrees will be this little wedge in here. That will be 7.6 degrees. Okay. See how that goes? So, this pilot has to fly 7.6 degrees. Now he's going to go east and then swing south. So he's going to go south of east. The first thing he does is go... Oh, sorry. My apologies. First thing he does is go east, sorry, and then he swings south and stops when he makes an angle of 7.6 degrees. So that is his heading. Okay, yes, direction. 7.6 degrees south of east. Nasty, but doable. All right. Now I'm going to pause the recording there. I want you to look at that and think about it and realize, ooh, but it is doable. If you got any questions, shoot me an email or watch the video again. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.